Hey there, it's John with Excel Campus, and in this video, I'm going to share some quick tips for removing indentation from multiple cells. So in this example here, we have this formatted income statement, and in the left column here, you can see we have some indentation at multiple levels here. We have some indentation here, down here as well. And if we select all these cells and try and go up here to the home tab and click the decrease indent button, and I'm, I'm doing that, I'm clicking it right now, uh, nothing happens over here. So we can't decrease the indentation if we have indentation on multiple levels. You can increase it, so I can increase it here, but as soon as I try and go back, this is as far as I can go. So you might think that you have to go into each of these and select each of these sections here and then decrease the indentation and so on. Uh, but you actually don't have to do that. And I'm going to share a few ways uh, to make this easier. So the first thing I'm going to do is just select all of the cells here where I want to remove the indentation. And the first way to do this is to just uh, click this button here, the left align button. It's currently enabled as you can see there. I'm going to click it again to disable it. This is going to change the alignment to general, the general setting. And as you can see now, the indentation has been removed on all of the cells. Now you might have to click this twice. If it's not enabled yet, you might have to enable it and then I click it again to disable it and change everything to general. So that's the first way to go about it. Now there are cases where this might not work for you. And I have an example of that over here. And in this case, we have some of these cells that have a different alignment. In this case, they're aligned to the right, but you could have uh, centered across selection or some merged cells or other alignment options that you don't want to clear. So in that case, you wouldn't want to use that first technique, but there is another technique. So I'm going to, again, go ahead and select all the cells. I'm then going to right click any of the cells and uh, choose format cells. Keyboard shortcut is control one. And then we'll go to the alignment tab here. And here you can see we have this indent box and it's currently blank. And we just want to set this to zero. You can just even click one of these up or down arrows and that will set the indentation level to zero for all of these selected cells. Now we're not going to change the alignment. The alignment that we changed in that first technique would be this here. And we're just going to leave that as is. Uh, again, in the first technique, we changed that all to general, but we don't want to do that here. So we'll just leave that blank. So we just change the indent to zero, hit OK, and now you can see the indentation has been removed on all of the cells, uh, but where we have this right alignment in some of these cells here, that remains as well. So this is ultimately the second technique is probably the best one there, but if, you don't have, if you're not worried about other alignment, then you can just uh, use that first technique, which is to just click off any of these boxes up here to change the alignment to general. So I hope those techniques have helped you. Of course, if you have any additional questions or suggestions about this, feel free to leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also head over to excelcampus.com slash free to join our free Excel Pro Tips weekly newsletter, and we'll have a free gift for you there as well. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.